Today's Today's adventure leads us off to the land of restoration. This giant hunk of junk from the, the craftsman. Well, you know what? It's it's cheap. And that's this hunk of junk, obviously, is a giant hunk of junk. Looks like crap, smells like crap, it's probably crap. But we're gonna pull it out of the grave, hopefully. I'm not a particularly well-rounded in the area of restoration, but we're gonna go ahead and give her a crack. Um, really, I'm gonna drill these out, get rid of that garbage, I want on both sides. Uh, get rid of this thing, because I don't really know if this is a Craftsman box or not. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna see if we can't make it look a little better, because I don't really want to put this disgustingness you can see this corn is cracked right there. Yeah. So anyway, I don't want to put this giant pile of garbage in the truck the way that it sits because, <clears throat> well, the truck looks bad enough as it is. It doesn't need any help. But you know what they say, restoration is a cheap man's game. And I'm cheap. I don't want to spend, it's a truck box. I, I don't want to spend I mean, I get it, if you have really expensive tools in your toolbox, in your truck box, whatever. Okay, I don't. This is literally going in the truck to house something that can't get wet. I'm not gonna say what that is yet, but that's all it's gonna do is house something that cannot get wet. And I want it to look decent, but I'm not gonna go spend $350 on it. I'm not gonna go spend I'm not going to spend $200 on it. This particular truck box, I paid $35 for it. And a, somebody took it to a scrapyard. Threw it out in the scrapyard. It looks, it's fine. A little, a little rubbing, a little elbow grease, it'll be good to go. Oh, uh, we're going to do a problem. This, let's just lay that over before we break another bit drill into my knee. This little piece of crap sign has that fantastic stuff back there. That glued. So I always thought like, oh yeah, there's no way that stupid thing, there's no way Sears would do that. I mean, come on. Craftsman's a sophisticated, you know, rich man brand. No, that's, that's their doing. So we busting out the heat gun for that one. Get that stupid thing off. This is one of those times when I wish I would have just left the sticker. That glue foam crap that they put behind like badges and trim pieces on cars is the same crap that was underneath this stupid friggin' sign. <sighs> we need chemical intervention. WD. So, I don't know how, but I've been told, I don't know where, and I don't know when, the WD will remove it, not remove it, but it'll penetrate it and make it really easy to remove adhesives. I've never tried it, but see what happens. Check this out. I mean, I sprayed a ton of WD on there, but. Well, guys, that wasn't there before the WD. You can see where the gunk is kind of like sagged down all the way across the top there. It wasn't like that. The WD has done that. It's cleaning up right in here really good. 
Oh man, this actually might work. I don't know, I think I'm gonna hit it again and let it sit. And we'll just wash this thing off really good. So, let's try it out, let's see what's happening. Oh yeah, that took a bunch of it off. Get all that. Just from being soaked in the WD. That's crazy. Well, it's off. It's definitely, there's definitely spots where there's still, you can feel the glue that hold, held that stuff down. You can see it right there. You can feel where the glue was that held that thing down in a few spots, but I'm scared. I'm kind of scared to keep putting WD on it. Because what I'm afraid is gonna happen is that this spot's not gonna take, not gonna take paint now. And I mean, I'm not, like I said earlier, I'm not worried about this being like perfect by any means. But I mean, I want it to look decent from 20 feet away, you know, I don't want to look like, well, anything's better than this, I guess. But, yeah. So it's, you know, it is what it is. It's gone, I learned something. This does work, WD-40 will let go of the adhesive, and, well, it, I don't know what it does, it like breaks down the adhesive, I guess, to where, it's gone but that's what I'm worried about though is that it won't that it's not gonna take paint in this spot because of the WD but we'll find out soon enough so one thing I like to say is ain't no painter any gooder than the paint he's using so I get me this here rust oleum professional right because this here this here can of paint's a professional, right? I, ain't, I'm, I mean, I need that professionalism to make paint look good. But a little tip I learned here a long, long, long while ago, before you start spray painting, what y'all do is get your, your heat gun here, right? And you wanna crank her up to as high as she'll go on this particular Hobo Freight is seven, right? Crank her all the way up, kick her on. You know it's good because the light's flickered. And then you just, you just get to warming her up, right? You just gotta warm up that there can of spray paint. And she'll go on nice and smooth for you every time. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, probably mostly dudes. We have one nice shiny coat gloss black rust-oleum professional so just to start with paint aluminum is hard <laughs> aluminum does not take paint well if you're going to spray paint aluminum you really 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 have to get good paint or it's going to look like trash and that's just the way it is they make from what i've never seen it but from what i've told they make paint, you know, spray paint that is special just for aluminum. I've never seen it. It's probably 20 bucks a can, but that's the route that I'd go. I bought the best paint that I could get, and that's what this is. I mean, it looks decent, especially, especially on camera. It looks excellent on camera. <laughs> it doesn't look nearly this good in, in person, I promise you that. But like I was worried about, I said earlier, I was worried that this wasn't gonna take paint where the WD was. It took it, but I don't know, it's not gonna come up on camera. A little bit right here. You can see it's kind of ripply. That's all where the WD was. I wiped it off well, as best as I could, but it still didn't take it super well. But this is one coat. Looks pretty good. Um, lay down a few more coats, let this one dry up for a while. And 
lay down a few more coats after that and then we'll get her installed when she's all dried you can see it's dark outside so the install will be tomorrow so yeah let's get to it Alrighty, boys. There she blows. Looks pretty all right. You can see I got a little carried away, a little bit of a drip right there. That'd be fine. Doesn't have to look pretty. I don't know what this like particular box was built for or anything like that because you know, I got it out of a scrapyard. But it's not. It definitely doesn't cover the whole bed rail. I don't really know if they're supposed to or not, but I mean, this thing only covers half the bed rail at best. Yeah. So, good enough for me. Well, uh, I'm hoping that the holes that are already drilled in the bed rail and in the toolbox will work. I don't really want to have to drill more holes in the bed rail than I need to. There's already a ton of holes in the bed rails, so. See how she goes. There she is, installed. Um, yeah, I ended up just using one bolt on each side. Hopefully it doesn't rattle and make a whole bunch of noise because Underneath these bed rails, there's a whole bunch of crap that's in the way, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, one bolt each side should be enough. Like I said, though, this is just supporting for something else. If I didn't want to do the something else that I'm doing, I probably wouldn't have put this box in here. Um, it's really, it needs to be another six inches wider, honestly, to be the right size for this truck. But it's good enough for it's good enough for what I want to do with it um, and it looks all right painted black I mean from a distance there's dents and stuff in it like I said 35 bucks from a steel yard I'm not gonna complain um, but yeah it's installed looks good enough for me but uh, yeah that's gonna do it I don't know why I called this a restoration because all I did really did was drilled holes in it and <laughs> painted it but I called it a restoration. So, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're here for the first time, hit that subscribe button. We'll see y'all in the next one.